this problem we want to find the inverse of the function so we've got uh, f of x is equal to 5 over x step 1 replace f of x with y so we've got y is equal to 5 over x step 2 interchange x and y so we got x is equal to 5 over y Step three, solve for y. Well, we need to get rid of the fraction, so uh, it's always the same. To get rid of fractions, you multiply everything by the LCM of all your denominators. We only have one denominator, so that is our LCM. So we'll multiply both sides by y. So x times y and y times 5 over y. So we get xy is equal to, and these y's cancel, is equal to 5. Trying to get y by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by x. and those x's cancel and we end up with y is equal to 5 over x kind of a weird one because we end up with the same thing we started with but that is possible step 4 replace y with your inverse notation so the inverse of f is going to equal to 5 over x and um, that's already one to one so we don't need to worry about making it one to one uh, Oftentimes books will specify the domain on that. They'll say x cannot equal to zero. That has nothing to do with making a one to one. They just sometimes will put the domain on there. If you want to do that, that's fine. I'm happy with five over x.